Hello everyone. Given these unprecedented times, I wanted to find a more personal way to speak with you on our response to the COVID-19 pandemic, which is raging around the world. Before doing so, I need to underline that nothing is more important than our health and that of our colleagues. I encourage everyone to follow the government's directives, as well as Air Canada's policies during these times. We're doing our best to comply with everything recommended by governments and health organizations to keep our employees and customers as safe as possible. The pandemic is affecting the very essence of our way of life and ravaging economies globally, especially in our industry, which was virtually closed overnight. Governments around the world have shuttered borders, airports or airspace, or imposed onerous and often impossible travel restrictions without any notice or planning. As you know, we're making extraordinary capacity reductions. Starting in April, we've cut our system capacity by nearly 80%. We're grounding more than 175 airplanes. We're going from 105 international cities to five, from 53 US airports to 12, from 64 Canadian airports to around 40. Dismantling the magnificent network that we built together over a decade is very hard to watch. We're doing what we can to bring frightened Canadians home from around the world and to keep moving necessary goods and essential supplies. We're cutting costs across the company to offset our massive revenue losses. And we must act fast, sharply reducing spending and preserving cash as we don't know how long this will go on. Nothing has made me sadder than the temporary workplace reductions after all of our collective hard work. This is an unprecedented step and for me, gut-wrenching. Please know that I and the rest of the leadership team are working 24-7 to bring our complete Air Canada family back together as soon as we possibly can. I'm proud that we added more than 10,000 jobs over the decade and I will not give up on any Air Canada jobs easily. I have total confidence we will survive. Our 10-year transformation has built a rock-solid foundation and puts us in a stronger position than almost any other airline in the world to survive this cataclysmic event. We have a strong balance sheet, healthy debt levels, and aircraft and other assets that have no debt against them and that can be used as collateral for borrowings. Be assured too, our pension plans are invested safely to reduce the effect of stock market swings. We're also in discussions with our government on a possible support package, especially as the US government has already pledged $50 billion to its industry. However, we're not waiting for that before doing what we need to do to position us to survive this. I understand that these are profoundly unsettling times. Vacant airports and empty aircraft drive home the seriousness of our situation. The road ahead will be difficult. But as Winston Churchill said in the key moments of World War II, if you're going through hell, keep on going. This is what we intend to do together. Thank you for everything you are doing, especially those on the front lines dealing with our remaining customers or who are supporting our rescue charters. I'm extremely proud of you, as I am of the entire organization. Stay safe, and I will speak with you in this fashion again soon.